My name is Zanaya and this is the one about Zanaya and today we're talking about the one about church. Here we go. Let's turn the heater off. So, first of all, let's breathe. Check all the ways. If you want tea, go grab your tea. If you want a little snacky snack, go grab a little snacky snack. I'm eating tacos after this, so I'm so excited. Um, Oreo is my brand, but we're not here to really talk about that. Let's get comfortable. Because we're talking about church, and it's like, come as you are, as you, as you want me to be. I love that song by Nirvana, don't you? Okay, before we get into it, let's say a quick prayer. Jesus. Holy Spirit, Abba. Abba is the Father presence. I address him as Abba. Okay. I just want y'all to know. And I don't know if they know they know it or like I know. Okay, God. Um, all jokes aside. Uh, I pray that this video touches the ones who need it. I pray that I, uh, I articulate it in the way that you guys need it to come off. And just help me to give what needs to be given. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay, let's get into it. First and foremost. Church is not the relationship. Okay. Going to church is not having a relationship with God, right? Break it down to you like this. Like, we went to church. Like, we weren't, like, church goers. You know, like, we went to church. I sang in the choir when I was younger. I, I went to Bible study. You know, we went to, it was one point we went every Sunday, Wednesday, uh, Thursdays, you know, for choir practice. You know what I mean? Um... I praise dance. My mom was a praise dance with my dad. I think my dad still wants to be a pastor. I don't know. But that's how, like, we're, we love God, right? But I had to figure out, like, like, my mom always told me, like, going to church and having a relationship with God is two different things. Now, going to church is, like, being surrounded by other people who also may or may not have a deep bond with God, right? Because when we go to church, we're just surrounded by other humans, right? Who say we love God and we know God, you know what I mean? But it's like, how much do you know God? Like, okay, so this pastor came up to us. He was like, I just started my church and he was just very um, genuine and wanted church comers to come, church, church comers, right? He, he was just started his church. And I looked at him, I'm like, why did you start your church? What what was the why why did you step into the calling? I know why you started, but why did you take God's plea or I don't know if that's the word, but God's challenge on to why did you walk in that? Why did you walk in the pastoring, right? And he was like, well, you know, it was just he I don't really know what he said, so I'm not going to put words in his mouth, but I asked my mom, I said, did you feel God in him? And I don't know what she said either, but for me, it was like, I felt the spirit of God is was on him and what he's doing. Like, God really did call him to that, but I didn't see God in him. Now, that's another, like, story, but that's, like, how we're going to separate the churchgoers from those who have a deep connection with God. Now, when I say a deep connection, I went as for, I'm not advising you with this, but I went, I was so like hurt. I feel like I was so hurt. I once called God a bitch. I was like, you a bitch. I kept saying him like, you're a bitch, you're a bitch, you're a bitch. And that's how strong my connection got to him because my mom always told me like tell God how you feel he already knows anyway he can take it so I was like you know what you're a bitch because you haven't rescued me from this situation you're not who are you why are you why why are you God why did you why are you God you made the trees but you still have me in this situation so it took me a it took me a minute to hear God's voice it took me a minute to want to come into a full-blown marriage with God. It took me a minute, and like, I'm just very, I'm learning still how to be committed to God, you know what I mean? Like, I don't read the Bible every day, I'm getting better. I don't 
wake up and pray uh, it's this prayer line uh, by I'll put the number and stuff in the description but it's this prayer line and they start they do it every morning 7 a.m. don't miss a beat 7 a.m. it's Pastor Trail 7 a.m. don't miss a beat even that I'm like oh god I'm sorry that's my relationship I can I can trust God to hold me accountable I don't just go to church and be like oh I'm about to get this word and then miss out on them. Uh, don't don't not pray throughout the week. Like if you really listen to what they're preaching to preaching on in Sunday, it will set you up for your week. I promise you. We're not just out here going to church. And if you are just going to church, go to the skating rink, go to the movie theater, cause you'll get some type of message, like. If you're, I'm saying if you're not going for God and you're going because grandmama did it and granddaddy did it, so I got to keep the family tradition going, who are you? That's such a displeasure to God. God loves the fact that you love worship and you're keeping the tradition alive, but he wants to get to know you. They want to get to know your heart. They want you to pour out to him. Okay, so I'll go as far as this. I always knew I liked women. Like I always had this deep, like yeah, like you, yeah, and like you might, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I was really crippled in 2000, like 2018. I was really crippled because I was like, God, like I don't want you to not love me because of something that. I feel within me. I'm like, don't you know this feeling is within me? If you created me, if you're all knowing, if you know my heart, if you know, like, uh, if you know that I was going to repent once I called you a bitch and you didn't strike me dead, like, didn't you know that I, if I liked, like, didn't you know that from the beginning of time when I was, when you was putting me in my mom's womb, that I was going to have a, 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 a sexual desire for women? Didn't you know that? So I, I talked to God. I talked to God. I got many signs of confirmation that they still love me. Now, I'm not going to say God thinks it's right or wrong, but you know what? Their love is so deep and strong that it makes me feel worthy enough to go to God and say, Hey, you know what? I do like this woman. And honestly, to tell the truth, I pray on my woman. I pray for the relationship, for God to be in the relationship. To not abuse God's name. not Because if I didn't go to God with that, I want to be living in my truth. All I'm saying is, there's many of churches out here, right? Churches is like chicken. You go to Popeye's for a different taste. You go to churches for a different taste. You go to KFC for a different taste. You know what I'm saying? You go to Chick-fil-A for chicken sandwiches. And you go to Raising Cane's for... um chicken strips okay i'm just gonna say it i was like i'm fucking it off topic boosie was like raising canes is better than chick-fil-a i'm like boosie you may be on some raising canes is top tier baby okay but sometimes you wanted a good little chicken sandwich and sometimes you just want a little little six piece you know what's that a caveman a cane man whatever with a little dipping sauce you know what i mean but just like i said that to say just like we have different chicken spots and stuff like that but they're all serving chicken. We have many of churches, but it's like, you still have to have the relationship with the chicken. You get what I'm saying? Like, I hope that was a good analogy. Like, you still have to yearn to eat chicken. You still have to want to want God. Like, that's the whole relationship thing with it. Like, if I asked you, like, why do you like, why do you eat chicken? You were like, oh, my mom cooked it for dinner. And then you started making it, right? And then your girlfriend started making it or your husband started making it, right? And you got your own relationship with your chicken. Maybe your mom put paprika. Now, you don't really mess with paprika. You like garlic powder on your chicken. You know what I mean? All God wants for us as his children, as his partners, is to say, eh, you know what, I'm feeling like this, or eh, you know what, I'm just going to sit here and be thankful for all that it is my just my present moment you know what i mean like church is a beautiful thing but church means nothing at all if you don't have the relationship and this is the one about church 
Yeah, I thought this was going to go so different, but I feel like 